Those cons got the hint. We've shown everyone that these are our new territories. Yeah? Nothing. My face is just fine. Yeah, well, curiosity killed the cocksucker, or something like that. I'd prefer not to discuss it. I followed a bounty here not long ago, but the trail ran cold. I've been getting by working as a caravan guard, but it's not the same. I should get back on the hunt, but I just don't know. I used to pride myself on finding every mark I was after, but I lost him. Everywhere and nowhere, partner. Does it really matter? Might as well, he's long gone. A fellow by the name of Glanton. Used to work as a scalp hunter for the NCR. See, back when the Republic was brushing up against some nasty tribals and raiders down south, they hired Glanton to clean them out. Glanton and his gang were making so much money that pretty soon they stopped caring about whose scalp they took, be it women or children. Brass tried to put a lid on it, declared him an outlaw, but it didn't matter. Settlers loved Glanton, made him into a hero. If settlers or miners run into trouble with tribals, they hire Glenn. It wasn't until recently that the government got serious about him. A few months back, the NCR finally put a bounty of 10,000 caps on his head. I decided it'd be worth my while to go after him. Just my luck, he drifted south of the Mojave when I was trailing him. Rumor is that he was meeting up with some old accomplice, Judge Richter. Apparently this guy ran with Glenn years ago. You don't by chance know anything about him, do you? Wait, that was you? I heard the judge was killed by a pack of geckos. Ripped him to pieces. They're very territorial, you know? Not a bad idea. Especially considering your background. Anybody who can take down Richter is qualified in my book. I do have to ask, though. You're not in bed with Caesar's Legion, are you? Good to know. I can respect that. Look, I'd like to get started after Glanton right away. Are you ready to go? Good, now I guess we'll start where I left off, up north of town. A trader by the name of Tonopah Tim said he sighted Glanton up there. This beats the hell out of sitting at the 188. What's up? Like what? Oh, you really want to know? Fuck you. I don't ask about that scar on your dome. So pay me the same courtesy, okay? Like what? Uh, point me towards the fucking bad guys? Really, I've learned to make do with whatever I've got. I prefer an assault rifle, but I'm handy with a blade as well. Just don't stick me with some dumb fucking unarmed weapon, okay? Nothing worse than charging into a shootout with your bare fists. There's a lot of scuttlebutt about his origins, stories of his family being killed by tribals, him swearing vengeance, probably bullshit. Not surprisingly, he's supposed to be a devil with a knife, very quick. Runs a tight crew also, real authoritarian. Once he sets his sights on a tribe, they're gonna get theirs one way or another. He's never failed to fulfill a contract. Like what? Look, we're working right now. I'd prefer to focus on the task at hand, if you don't mind. Like what? Yeah, the Desert Rangers. Ever heard of them? Yeah, but the Desert Rangers were better. Maybe the best. Long before the NCR showed up, we were protecting the Mojave. NCR is fucking soft. 
All lazy conscripts waiting to finish their tours, well supplied, armed to the teeth. We didn't have those luxuries. There were never that many of us, and supplies were uneven. We had training and discipline though. That's why we won all our battles. Plenty of former Desert Rangers are serving in the NCR now, and they're good people. That wasn't for me though. I won't live a lie. Legion happened. It was a trickle at first, just the scouts. Then they started showing up in force. We killed them, and more would take their place. Legionaries practiced total war, killing or enslaving entire towns that helped us. A lot of people started having a change of heart. With dwindling supplies and manpower, some of the rangers began to see our struggle as futile. We fought on regardless. Maybe the Legion would have lost interest if we'd continued giving them bloody noses. I wish we'd had a nuke. We won almost every battle, but we lost the war. Even if the NCR stops landing us, the Mojave's identity will be gone. Like what? Dust gets in everything. Gonna have to clean my rifle again. Hello again, dear. Oh, Grandma will miss her little pumpkin. Are you sure? Nice children shouldn't play in places like that, dearie. That's the sort of place Leo likes, but if you insist... This is the place. I searched it up and down, couldn't find shit. Maybe some fresh eyes will do the trick. Damn, if it was a snake, it would have bit me. What's the note say? Never heard of him, but I know someone who might be able to point us in the right direction. Ex-ranger by the name of Vickers lives in Freeside. Let's track him down and see if he can get us on track. Kims are good. Weapons are better.
Can you spare a few caps, stranger? I'm a veteran down on this duck. Wait. Is that Russell I see with you? Y'all help me out, right? Rangers always stick together. Thank you. Much obliged. And a shot. I think I know who that is, but... <laughs> Just... <laughs> Jesus, I knew he was living on the streets, but to be strung out like this? I never imagined it. This man was strong. A fucking rock. How did he end up like this? I can't even look him in the eyes. Yeah, maybe you're right. It's just not what I was expecting. See if you can talk to him about getting help, then ask about the name. Yeah. Addiction. Look, I'm, I'm just between jobs right now, and I get a little fix here and there to get me going. I'm, I'm fine, I swear. myself in the face anymore, stranger. Wife left me. Got nobody left. I hoped the jet would make things easier. It never does. I'll do like you're saying. Talk to the followers. Before I head off, what was your question? Hendershot. Hendershot. Oh yeah, he's a, he's a zombie arms peddler hidden away in Koya Mountain. Where that is exactly, I don't know. Know the man who can tell you, though. Ranger by the name of Handley. Used to be in Russell's unit. He'll know. He knows the Spring Mountains better than anybody. That's why they got him up at the outpost on Mount Charleston. Give him my regards. You did right by me on that one. I won't forget it. What's up? Persistent fuck, aren't you? Well, back when I was property of a certain centurion, I made the mistake of defying his instructions. He assaulted me, so I removed one of his eyes with a knife. In turn, he broke my legs, chained me to a wall, and tortured me. He took a shish kebab used it to cook my eye in the socket. Then he took a few hours roasting my face. That answer your question? Good. Like what? Does it matter? Shit, okay. I was born a tribal, if you can believe it. One of the Fredonians near the Grand Canyon. Don't remember too much other than my mother. Some of the men teaching me a few things here and there. Some of the language. I do remember the trees, their smell, the cool air up on the rim. People forget how different it is up at the higher elevations. It all ended when the Legion showed up, though. Like a bad dream or something. They just erased the Fredonians from history. I couldn't have been more than three or four when they took me. Made me a slave. Got sold to a centurion, and that was my upbringing. I suppose you could call me the last of the Fredonians. Pretty fucking corny, huh? Like what? There's nothing left to see. All of it is under Legion control anyway. I've never deluded myself into thinking I might stand on the rim again. No, Vegas is my home now. It's just pretty enough to make me forget the ugliness that's always lurking underneath. Sort of like a hooker. Like what? Vegas is not in CR. The Desert Rangers fought to defend their homes, not expand some half-assed empire that touts liberty for all. When you swear an oath to the NCR, you become another cog in their machine, nothing more. We were in a tight spot when the Bears swooped in with their offer. That's what they do. 
We sold our souls for some peace of mind. I always thought the Desert Rangers would die in a bloody final stand against the Legion. Instead, we got a nice, polite funeral and a monument. That's why I hate that fucking thing. It tells everyone how the true Rangers were neutered and filed away, forgotten. We were the heart, no, the balls, of the Mojave. And the NCR put the scalpel to us. Sometimes, I wish I'd bought it before it happened. Like what? I don't like the idea of giving total control of New Vegas to a single person, much less some freak who's living in a test tube. House seems like he's shooting for perfection, and that ain't possible. No amount of Securitrons can change human nature. The only thing worse than a government is a government led by one man. Hell, it would be one man. That's a recipe for failure. Like what? You know, I save opinions for things like food, guns, women, that sort of thing. The Legion doesn't rate an opinion. I shit on the fucking Legion. An army of slaves is no army at all. They're insects who worship a dirty old man. All they have is their reputation. And let me tell you, it's bullshit. I've seen the hardest centurions piss themselves in their final moments. They like to pretend they're more than men, but they ain't. Stick a knife in their guts, turn it slowly, and they'll cry for their fucking mama. I guess I was wrong. I do have an opinion. The Legion is an army of cunts. Every last one of them. And they're going to lose. You're speaking my language, partner. Lead the way. They're weak, and corrupt to the very marrow of their bones. A few senators hold most of the power. Kimball is just a talking head. They'll tax you to death, but can't keep the roads safe. Towns sacrifice autonomy and self-determination with nothing to show for it. It's a giant scam that only serves a handful of cattlemen, mining barons, and other rich fucks who've paid off the bureaucrats. They show up to your town, throwing around bold words like freedom and security. People eat it up. All they get is taxes and false promises. Maybe that system worked for the old world. When communication was better, there were more people, something. But it doesn't cut it now. You can't count on some government to help you. Self-reliance. With communities trading and working together, that's practical right now. Really? Please, let me know when it's stabilized. I want to be around to see the parade. You people really buy into all their bullshit, don't you? I'd fight for it, and I'm sure that others would too. Most of the locals resent the NCR. This ain't California, it's motherfucking Vegas. I don't trust House. Maybe a wild card is what we need. I'll take a bit of anarchy over some outsider telling me how to live my life. Like what? Lanius, for the time being. I wouldn't count on it to last, though. The Legion fears Lanius, but he can't inspire them like Caesar did. Under Caesar, the Legion could recover from a loss like Hoover Dam. It could bend, due to his charisma and foresight. The first time Lanius loses, the Legion is going to break, and it won't be pretty. Regional commanders with entire armies will be at each other's throats, all vying for the throne. Even if somebody wins, the system will be broken. The winner will be just another warlord with an army and slaves, no real ethos, no permanency. That's the end game for the Legion. Like what? It's not bad. The pay is good. You get to see a lot of the wasteland. And it keeps you on your toes. It makes you sharp. Back when I was with the Rangers, tracking and stalking enemies was about the greatest pleasure you could experience in the field. You're stacking your mind, your body, and your weapon against another human being. Well, most of the time you're human. After all the waiting, 
when you do finally catch up to them, nothing beats the red mist. It's it's better than making a woman climax. Let me be clear. I'm not talking about doing it like some sick fuck who kills homeless hookers with steak knives. I'm talking about combat. Survival. I first killed a man when I was 16. Shot a raider through the throat with a 308 from 300 yards. Decent shot. It fucked me up bad. I couldn't stop thinking about the finality of it. He had ceased to exist because of me. The second one was a legionary, caught shrapnel from my grenade during an ambush. He died slowly. I kneeled beside him, watched him go. You watch a man's soul drift out of his pupils, it changes you. Nothing is the same, no matter what anyone says. It wasn't as bad as the first, though. The third one was special. It was a raider who'd come near our position at night, just wandering, smoking. He had no idea what was coming. By that time I was getting good with the knife, and I was strong for my age. The sergeant gave me the nod, so I started slithering towards the raider. It was cold that night, lots of stars. Time moves slowly when you're trying to kill a man close up. You see, smell, hear, everything. He was taking a drag when I jammed that blade into the base of his skull. He went down faster than I expected almost knocked me off my feet. The first two times, I'd been afraid, overwhelmed with empathy. Third time, it was simply exhilarating. I could fuck the most beautiful woman alive, drink the finest liquor, smoke the best tobacco, and nothing will ever match that sensation. It was conquest and domination. That's the purest instinct for anything that draws breath. And I was determined to feel it again. Maybe you want to judge me. Maybe not. But deep down, in that part of you that is still an animal, you know it's true. We're born to kill. You can't. Not ever. You start trying to make excuses for the other guy, he'll take advantage of the opportunity, and then you're dead. Like what? Hey man, can you spare a few caps? Ah, thank you, Mr. Obvious. Haven't heard that in a while. Scum-humping water baron did this to me. No one talks trash about my eye. That's it. No one insults the eye. Hey! Whoa. You like that? Hey, man. This wouldn't be a bad day to station. Beats roasting down by the river, waiting to get bushwhacked. What is it? A guy, huh? Wait, that isn't Russell I see with you. Is it? Shit, it is. Ugly as ever. Wait, what the hell do y'all want with Chola Mountain? I'm happy to help you and Russell, but I hope you know what you're getting into. I typically make a point to talk prospectors out of going there. 
Shoal Mountain was a pre-war disposal site for nuclear waste, with miles of underground tunnels. It's not far from the Divide, actually. Thing is, that place has always been brimming with radiation, and therefore ghouls. Hordesmen, from what I hear. On top of that, Ender shots a paranoid nutjob who doesn't like unexpected guests. Honestly, I don't know anyone who's come back from there. If I can't dissuade you, here's the spot on your map. Only reason I'm telling you is because I know who Glenn is, and I hope you catch him. Of course, I'm obligated to help a fellow ranger. You and Russell are always welcome here. Be safe in there, and watch your ass. Yeah, humped a lot of miles together. Fought the same Legion fucks. Saved each other's lives at least twice. Wasn't bound to last, though. I can't blame him for not going along with the treaty. We all lost something that day. I and a lot of other rangers lost our identities. And Russell, who I can see is seething over this topic, lost his family. Sorry, brother. I hate dealing with the pogues and shitbirds, but at least we have manpower backing us up. The rangers are solid, no question about it. Would I prefer to be a desert ranger? Maybe. Would I rather be a part of something that can kick the shit out of Caesar's Legion? Definitely. The desert rangers were a brotherhood, just like the NCR rangers today. The banner changed, but the fight was basically the same. None of us thought any less of Russell for walking away. Some of the guys respected it, and a handful joined him. It's a hard thing to break ranks with your brothers and sisters in arms. I couldn't stand the thought of letting them fight without me. What is it? If you'd have told me that Handley would end up a loyal citizen of the NCR, I'd have told you to stop using chems. Handley hated the NCR back when the treaty was signed. I thought he might leave with me. I guess time wearing their uniform changed things. What kind of philosophical crap is that? Water and stones? Really? I get your point, though. If you get too entrenched, Tom will pass you by. I've always been a little hard on some of the guys who went in CR. Which was most of them, but still. Maybe I shouldn't judge them so much. What's up? Like what? Titus Vulcanus, Centurion, Primum Pilus. He made a habit of repeating his station to me so I wouldn't forget. It's hard for most people to appreciate the depths of slavery. When you're chattel, there is no you, only the owner. You're an extension of their estate, nothing more. You must obey in all things, without question or doubt. Titus knew this better than anyone. He loved to burn things, burn people, and to make others watch. Beyond that, he had only one other source of pleasure. He had a stable of boys in his tent, spent his nights doing things to them. I was one of those boys. Wouldn't wish it on anyone. Like what? Fine. Well, if I'm not on a job, I love a sip of good scotch, company of a beautiful woman, or a game of poker. Fuck caravan. The only thing about poker is that I can be a little cantankerous if things don't go my way. Last time I played, some asshole beat my flush with four jacks. Bullshit, right? He started laughing, so I smashed a bottle over his head. I was forcefully escorted from the premises, asked not to return. As if I was the first motherfucker to fight in that shithole. Ridiculous. What is it?
just dug your own grave. What's up? Like what? This beats the hell out of sitting at the 188.
hope I can kill a legionary today. Don't move a motherfucking muscle meat bag. The Van Graaff sent you, didn't they? Didn't they? Answer me. No shit they're after me. Notice the traps on the way in? It's a pain in the ass rigging that shit up, let me tell you. But we ain't talking about me. We're talking about you and the Van Graaffs. I know they sent you. Can't handle the competition. Wait, you walked into a radioactive death trap, overrun by feral ghouls, just to ask me about Glanton? You must be out of your goddamn mind. All that for Glanton. <laughs> no, really. Why, why are you here? Damn, you must really want that bounty, huh? I think we can do business, but everything costs, so it's just a matter... Just a second, gotta check something. I need your help, now! This place has a derelict security network. Robots, turrets, and shit. But I could never get it online. See if you can get it working. Don't fuck around with that too long. I need you outside, 
Clearing those fuckers out before they show up in strength. I'll cover you from up top. Now get to it. are these things? Are they really worse than the ferals? You need. I used to work for the Gunrunners till I pissed off the Van Graffs by manufacturing and selling energy weapons. Runners had to choose between keeping me or starting a war with the Van Graffs. They let me go, so I had to run. There aren't many places the Van Graffs won't pursue you, but this is one of them. Ferals and radiation are supposed to take care of humans. And I've waxed any cool merc stupid enough to walk in here. I guess you're special. I meet them at the entrance at pre-designated times. It's the only place safe enough for humans, and I keep it under constant surveillance. I have a small client list, and those who are lucky enough to get on it follow my guidelines to the letter. The Van Graffs aren't keen on fair trade practices. They want the entire market, and they don't like to compete. When they found out I was manufacturing better, cheaper energy weapons, they put a price on my head. Once you're on their list, you never get off it. Bye.
today. What do you need? Yeah, for now. I owe you a few, stranger. Damn things showed up a few months back, burrowing through the tunnels, killing ferals. Damnable thing is that they'll be back. You've already bailed me out once. But would you be willing to help me again? I'll make it worth your while. Good on you, stranger. I won't forget it. I think they've got some sort of hive down in that corridor. If it's anything like ants, you just need to kill the mama. I'd go with you, but frankly, those things just about make me shit my pants. I've still got the shakes from the last bunch. Here, take this stuff. Hopefully it should get you through there without being detected. Good luck.
dead, don't even know it. What do you need? I was getting ready to seal the tunnel again if you didn't show. I had half a mind just to leave this place altogether. Thanks to you, I'll be able to keep my life and my livelihood. Anything you need, I'll do my best to help you out from here on. As for Glanton, he bought a dick load of guns and then went to meet with Finley, his man in the cons. Finley is Glanton's escort he passes through Khan territory, as Glanton is not exactly beloved by the rest of the tribe. Oh, and you can use my old rail car anytime you like. That will make the trip down here a little easier. Here's a little something for your trouble. Good luck to you, stranger. What's up? Like what?
those cons got the hint. We've shown everyone that these are our new territories. Yeah? Nothing. My face is just fine. Yeah, well, curiosity killed the cocksucker. Or something like that. I'd prefer not to discuss it. I followed a bounty here not long ago, but the trail ran cold. I've been getting by working as a caravan guard, but it's not the same. I should get back on the hunt, but I just don't know. I used to pride myself on finding every mark I was after, but I lost him. Everywhere and nowhere, partner. Does it really matter? Might as well, he's long gone. A fellow by the name of Glanton. Used to work as a scalp hunter for the NCR. See, back when the Republic was brushing up against some nasty tribals and raiders down south, they hired Glanton to clean them out. Glanton and his gang were making so much money that pretty soon they stopped caring about whose scalp they took, be it women or children. Brass tried to put a lid on it, declared him an outlaw, but it didn't matter. Settlers loved Glanton, made him into a hero. If settlers or miners run into trouble with tribals, they hire Glenn. It wasn't until recently that the government got serious about him. A few months back, the NCR finally put a bait. <laughs> That's pretty goddamn slimy. I admire that in person. Glenn and headed for Prim. He went to meet with some people about a job in the party gangers. Wouldn't want to be in their shoes right now. That group of Hellraisers was holed up in Spears Cavern. I'm guessing he was hired to clear them out. See you later, Bayona. It's starting to feel like tensions are coming to a boil. There'll be a full-scale war soon. Hey, can I ask you something? That con had a look in his eyes. Reminded me of some of the rangers before the treaty. He didn't want to show it, but that guy was broken inside. The Legion just kept hammering us, chipping away. At least the NCR was efficient with the cons. One massacre and they're finished. I hated the treaty, but maybe it was merciful. I see the cons. They're just hollow dregs living in the past. But at least the cons have their identity, and their ethos. Even if we'd all died fighting the Legion, wouldn't it have been worth it? Yeah, Legion ain't in the business of celebrating their fallen foes, are they? Maybe after the dust settles, if the Legion is out of the picture, there'll be another chance for the Rangers. What's up? Like what? After he burned me, he departed on an errand for Kaisar. Left me to be crucified. I was almost looking forward to it at that point. When you've been burned and fucked for 12 years, crucifixion doesn't seem so bad. I was ready to die. Would have died just another nameless slave in Arizona, strapped to a cross, if it hadn't been for the Rangers. That was back when the Desert Rangers were at war with the Legion, and they actually took the fight to them. They slaughtered the Legionaries, freed the slaves, saved my life. I was 15, and right then and there I set out to repay them. Maybe it was a debt of honor, debt of life, something. You have to pay back those things, one way or another. I was reborn a Ranger that day. I spent the next 11 years with a Ranger troop. They taught me how to fight. Survive. Prevail. How to be a man. They even educated me a little. As for Titus, I'm not sure. Heard he died at Zulu, but who the fuck knows. If he is out there, and I find him, not God, Mars, or baby Jesus will save him from my knife, I promise you that. Like what? best years of my life, no question. 
I was part of a family, fighting for our home, our real home, not some far-flung bullshit territory. Fought in over 64 engagements with raiders, tribals, and Caesar's Legion. Never left a man behind, not once. A lot of outsiders will deny it. But we maintained a kill ratio of over 30 to 1. No bullshit. Some units claimed 50 to 1. Man for man, I've never seen a better fighting force in my life. Not in the NCR, certainly not in the Legion. We had our ranks, our discipline. There was so much more to it. You try to tell people about it, they don't understand. Never will. I guess you just had to be there. Like what? Yeah, I heard a few stories about him. Man told me that Marco is the fastest pistol. And the purest killer alive. Maybe the devil himself. With the way stories travel through the wasteland, this guy's probably just some asshole with a mean stare and a gift for gab. Most so-called badasses are all talk, get flustered or nervous when you put the screws to them. And again, there's always that chance. I've heard plenty of hunters say they do this or that to Marco, and the few that actually acted on it, went after him, gone. Somebody once told me that hell is here on Earth, and we're living in it. If that's the case, maybe Marco is the devil. Like what? A wife? You fucking high? No, just one girl, Mary. I haven't thought about her in five years. She was special, but it wasn't in the cards. She was a caravan guard that I met not long after the treaty, when I was earning my salt as a hired gun. She had hair black as a dream. She was tough. Hardest fucking woman I ever met. Easily could have been a ranger. That's what I loved about her. She didn't compromise. I had little interest in guarding caravans until I met her, and I suddenly became invested in the affair. She noticed. She called me Rojo because of the beard. Not many redheads where she came from further south. Fuck, I still remember her eyes. We were close, but not an actual item. It was strictly physical, according to her. Just a passing pleasure out in the wilds. See, she already had a man, Falk. He was a fat fuck who ran the company. Nice guy, but a fucking pussy. He had money, though. I'm the bad guy, you see. The ugly, crazy bastard that you fuck for fun, but never consider settling down with. Once Falk proposed to her, it was a done deal. We had to go our separate ways. I asked her to change her mind, but I wouldn't beg. Maybe I should have begged. Just tossed any semblance of pride to the wind. She might have just laughed at me. God, I loved that bitch. No point dwelling on it now. After all, I'll always have my whores. Like what?
jump and Jesus, they slaughtered the lot of them. Carved them up like animals. These motherfuckers are for real. Bison Steve doesn't look too lucky to me. Put him as a new sheriff. That should keep the powder clean. What is it? Bounty hunter, huh? And CR has done so much for us here in the Mojave. Let me tell you, when my daughter was held for ransom by the gangers, I went to the NCR, asked if they could help. They told me resources were stretched thin. Officer tells me to pay up, that it's the safe bet. So I pay up. And those sick fucks delivered her corpse, then mocked me about it. So I went to the NCR, asked for justice. They wouldn't help. Not a priority, is what they said. So for justice, I called on Glenn. Happy? No. Satisfied? Maybe. Won't bring back Mary. But it gives me a warm feeling when I think about them squirming. Screaming for mercy. Don't we all? He went south, that's all I know. Leave me alone, please. What's up? Like what? Thank you. 
Looks like some regulars were waiting for Glenn. Fucked up the ambush, turned it into a bloodbath. I don't see his body, though. Bastard led them into an ant colony. Christ, he and the rest of them might just be ant shit by now. Shoot out in this hall. Almost have made a racket. Attracted the bugs. This pair got separated, panicked. Bad place to lose your cool. I guess the lieutenant made his last stand here. No sign of Glenn.
Must be the mom up ahead. I think we'd do well to sneak past. Let's stir up the hive.
should be the exit up ahead. Funny how time flies when you travel on the ground. Somebody told me a nest of death claws lives on a ridge across the river. Probably just bullshit.
It takes a lot of time and manpower to build walls like this. They must be damn scared of somebody out there. Have you seen that tower on the strip all lit up? You can see it for miles. Things. The fiends are running for their lives. That'll show everyone what we do to our enemies. Hey. That fiend leader shouldn't have messed with our great army. Howdy. Ain't a bad place. Just a little wild for most folk. As long as the mine keeps producing, people will keep coming. You just have to be careful outside of town. Heathen shit wolves will cut your pecker off and sing a song about it, then throw it at the walls. Got discharged in 51, been wandering ever since. Came here for work, but ain't had any luck just yet. Nobody even believes I was in the service. They just laugh at me. I keep asking that shithead sheriff to get my records. You do that for Charlie? You can try, but that sheriff has his sequoia lodged up his ass. Won't budge on paperwork, asshole. But hey, even if you try, I appreciate it. That fiend leader shouldn't have messed with our great army. That fiend leader shouldn't have messed with our great army. What can I do for you? What can I do for you? Sure. Give me a Things are getting stranger every day. Hey there. Need anything? Sure, here's what I got.
Hey there. Need anything? Sure. Here's what I got. Those Legion elite troops are bad blood. What do you need? Sure can. Pleasure doing business with you. Sure, I could patch you up. Nothing too serious. I don't work for free, though. Suit yourself. Sure can. Quick and easy. And a quick shot. All done. Bye. showed everyone the might of the Republic. Yeah? The work. I used to be a fighter in New Reno, but busted my hand. Blew my shot at the title. I heard there was money in the mines. So I moved. I've thought about applying for the foreman position, if only to get out of the hard labor. I don't know though. Mine it feels like a dead end. Part of me misses the fight game. It's not all blood and savagery like people say. The skill, technique, developed expertise. It's a craft. I've thought about opening my own gym, coaching fighters, but it seems like a big risk. In Reno, it's all about connects, reputation and money. Really? You're the first person to tell me that. Maybe it's not so crazy after all. I'll need to save up some more, but maybe. Yeah, I'll try it. Yeah? Bye. Our... what on earth is that creature? Howdy. You got it, partner. Another satisfied customer. Howdy. Oh, hell fire, I haven't told you about the greatest filmmaker alive. Sit back and prepare to be mesmerized. Behold, the fine cinema of Mr. Albert C. Breach. 
who produces the finest films made since the Great War. Hailing from Luna, California, Albert Breach has already produced over 300 feature films. His works cover every genre, including drama, comedy, and sex. He also writes works for the stage, like his award-winning play, Waiting for Hobo. My personal favorite is Ghoul 5 from Good Springs, a movie about ghouls, resurrection, and catheter tubes. I always cry at the end. Partner, this little town is growing fast, and mine is churning out money. I was damn lucky to get this place set up when I did. Sheriff can be a little rough sometimes, but I wouldn't want his job trying to corral all these miners, hookers, and hobos. Only thing holding back this town is the crazy tribals, always killing settlers and travelers. Crazy savages don't know it's a losing battle. But once we clear out the sand wolves, I reckon Caruthers Canyon will be right prosperous. I kid you not. Well, partner, it's funny. My wife up and left me for some loan shark in Reno, so moved here to get back on my feet. Business has been a booming. I've managed to save up enough to open up a chain of saloons. I just don't know if it would work. My instinct is to stay here and keep saving. might just be right, partner. After Jenny left me for that sleazeball Jimmy, I sort of lost my nerve. I might just head to Day Glow. Okie dokie. stranger every day. I'm really busy now. Sorry. I'm really busy now. Sorry. Yes? If they could, they would. We can't leave the town undefended. There's always the risk of a Legion raiding party. Yes? I'm Sheriff Wayne Richardson. Been the law in town for three years now. Note the walls and our militia. Don't make trouble here. We are proud citizens of the NCR, and its laws will be enforced. Understand? Good. I hope your time in Silverwood is productive. Yes? Don't tell me you believe that bum. You did, didn't you? I've seen guys like him for years, wearing old fatigues and moaning about their service. Almost all of them are full of shit. They're just conning patriotic citizens into giving up extra caps. Sorry, I won't waste my time on it. Okay, okay. I'll mail out the request for Charlie's records. Just keep this to yourself, okay? Yes? Howdy. Thank you. That'll show those assholes what I done. 
three combat tours, 25 kills, and... Well, I... I can't quite recall. I'm indebted to you, stranger. Here, take this bit of change I've been holding on to, please. Bless you, stranger. I'm indebted to you. You need anything. Charlie's here for you. That fiend leader shouldn't have messed with our great army. I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. Our rangers are going to show everyone what happens when we're pissed off. Hi there, mister. You need something? You know the strip's all stirred up lately? What's up? Like what? You do the talking, Chief. I'll be ready if this goes south. Welcome to Silverwood. I've been expecting you. Give me a little credit. First saw you outside of Prim before those grunts got the jump on us. I was at the tunnel when you crawled out of the ant colony. Must admit I admire your determination. Didn't expect you to make it this far. The citizens have employed me to cleanse the canyon of a malignant band of nomads, the Sand Wolves. Once the rest of my men arrive, I'll find and kill every one of the heathens. Let these settlers live in peace. My work is never finished, Courier. Say whatever you like if it gives you assurance. I will not be a trophy for bureaucrats. I answer to God and no one else. These people, they love me as much as they hate the ineffectual lawmakers judging me from afar. Move on me and they'll turn on you with a vengeance. You're strong, though. Anyone can see it. Once your blood settles, speak with me again. And let's see if we can't cooperate. You do the talking, Chief. I'll be ready if this goes south. I'm really busy now. Sorry. Yes? You seem surprised by this move. Very well. I answer to hoi polloi, not feckless apparatchiks in shady sands. Bleeding hearts in comfortable offices may decry his methods, but Glanton was contracted due to popular demand, not furtive machinations. Are you familiar with the Sand Wolves, stranger? Your impertinent line of inquiry suggests ignorance, so I'll continue under that assumption. The Sand Wolves are a lot of root-sucking truculent cunts who cling to this territory by means of violence and terrorism. They are backwards, mendacious, and utterly intolerant of outsiders. All overtures of peace or reconciliation have ended in betrayal and violence. Prospective farmers and cattlemen must linger behind the town's walls for fear of arbitrary butchery at the hands of inimical natives. I have seen the bloody scalped corpses of men and women slaughtered in the night by sand wolves. The children taken captive. The citizens come to me, pleading for resolution, demanding safety for their families. When I look in their eyes, I know what has to be done. Glanton will do it. The tribal menace will soon be purged from this canyon, God willing.
Exterminate's a bit harsh, but that captures the essence of what Glanton will do. Good to know we're of one mind on this. Mayor's a real piece of work, huh? Look, I think we've been working well together, but I have something I need to say. I want Glanton, but I won't fight this entire town to get him. You want to fight legionaries, death claws, raiders, whatever, I'm with you. But if you make a move on Glanton in town, I'm walking. Don't take it the wrong way. It just had to be said. Are we good? Whatever you say. Good to know you aren't going to play this like a psycho. Yes? Why, our pristine palace is one of the fastest growing municipalities in the new California Republic. Buoyed by commerce and mining revenue. It seems almost every day that fresh faces arrive in town, eager to assist with the taming and development of this wild country. I am proud to serve as first citizen in this exciting time of transition. I was an attorney in Shady Sands trying to get elected to the legislature. After a disagreement with some business partners, I moved here. There are scant men of letters in these unsettled corners of the Republic, so I was swiftly voted into office by my peers. I now serve at the pleasure of my constituents. Yes? Until next time. Things are getting stranger every day. What is it? I only really loved one person in my life, and they took her from me. I don't see it as hate. It's love of her memory, and justice. Every scalp I take is one less raid. One less kidnapping. One less rape. Oh, and please spare me the dangers of vengeance. I've heard it ad nauseum. It won't bring her back, or dig two graves. What people don't realize is that I'm already in the grave. I'm going to drag the savages down in here with me until they cover me in dirt. Stick around and you can join me. What is it? That's a name I haven't heard in some time. Yes, I knew the man, if you could call him that. He always seemed like something else to me. Distinct. Whatever his fault, he had the will to enforce the law and was utterly pitiless. He had the instincts of a wolf. Did you know him as well? I thought it might end like that for him. He always overestimated the scope of his power and influence, contemptuous of possible reciprocity. A man that fearless is bound to meet a violent end. I'm amazed he lasted as long as he did. There would be monetary incentive in the order of 5,000 caps. If money doesn't move you, then there's something else. Do you believe in justice, Courier? I do, with every ounce of my being. The Sand Wolves are savages, lower than animals. They prey on the weak, slaughtering innocent settlers, terrorizing law-abiding citizens. They will soon reap what they sow. If you do believe in justice, then you'll stand by me during the sacred enterprise. Money be damned. What say you? Excellent. I still have preparations to make, and in all candor, we have yet to locate the Sand Wolves. In the meantime, you might speak with the Sheriff. 
I hear he's recruiting volunteers for a scouting mission. It's a quick scouting mission to the other side of the canyon. Lopez family settled there a few weeks back. We haven't heard from them. Normally, they swing by town every Sunday for supplies, but we haven't seen them in weeks. I suspect the worst, but I want to be sure. All I would need you to do is verify their status. There's three adults and two children, one of them an infant. The pay is 100 caps. If it is the Sand Wolves, that'll show that they're back in the area. The main group always sends out raiding parties in their vicinity. So, are you up for the job? Good. Here's the spot on your map. Keep your eyes open for Sand Wolves while you're out there. Jesus, they killed most of them. Took the kids? Wait. No. I'm gonna be fucking sick.
Yes. Animals. Fucking animals. You see what we're up against now? Look, there's been a development with Glanton. Speak with the mayor. He'll give you the details. Go on. I'm expecting a courier. Evening. Looking for Glanton, I presume. While you were out, one of Glanton's scouts discovered the Sand Wolves' new encampment. Glanton quickly departed with his gang. I imagine they're well on their way to the village, no doubt stealing themselves for the bloody task to come. I suppose you could venture forth and try to impede Glanton, but you'd be cutting it pretty close. Why bother? I see a courier coming, excuse me. Wait just a second, this might be important. Sir, sir. Well, spit it out, fool. I haven't got all fucking day. Legion is coming. At least 100 men. They're coming here to help the Sand Wolves. It's impossible this far inland. I think he did nipped it. My god, it's really happening, isn't it? Where's that fucking sheriff? I told him first, sir. He panicked and took out with most of the militia. The town's unguarded. Should we run for it? What? That... that craven cunt! No, oh, no, no, no! Why didn't I just stay in Shady? Why? There's no time to run! Maybe we can hide in the mine. That's not all, sir. Prospector said they're being led by a centurion. Got all kind of fire weapons. Probably aiming to burn everyone. Crucify you. I know what they'll do, you sniveling fuck! They're gonna ram red-hot sticks up our asses and sing fucking songs about it! Fuck! You... You've gotta help us! We can't run! There isn't enough time! For the love of God, please don't leave us! I can't die here, not like this. Wait, wait, don't say anything. Not in the heat of the moment. Take a minute, think about this town. The innocent children, the babies crying, all dead. I'm gonna have a drink, think of a plan, pray. Yes, yes, pray. Hey. What is it? You... You've got to help us! We can't run! There isn't enough time! For the love of God, please don't leave us! I can't die here! Not like this! Wait, wait. I'm gonna have a drink.
hear a troublesome legion camp got raised to the ground. What is it? Yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. A plan, well, uh, you should recruit a new militia and man the walls and, and I'll move non-combatants into the mine. And lay traps, mines, sharp, stabby things to cut and infect those legion devils, yes. Weapons, I, I'm not sure. Wait, yes. The sheriff kept an arsenal in his office. Take anything you need from that coward's stash. There's also a cache of explosives used for the mine. Take anything you need if it'll help you. Anything else? These are proud, stalwart folk. The mere hint of civic duty should move them to action. Just steer clear of the town drunk, Charlie. I would be thrilled to spill Legion blood, but my duties require me to shepherd the helpless souls who will be massing in the mine. I was always taught that prudence is one of the hallmarks of a good leader. You will have the honor of turning back the Legion tide. The savage sand wolves appealed for assistance, no doubt. I owe Glanton is strangling them with their own guts right now. It is not unheard of for raiding parties to venture into our territory, but never this far. They likely aim to crucify or enslave us all. But I'm sure we won't come to that pass, not with you here. And with God's help. Anything else? We must make ready then. Godspeed, courier. I want you to know, I think you're doing the right thing here. It ain't easy to let Glanton slip away, but he'll get his in good time. The problem is going to be defending this place. The chicken shit mayor can crow about civic virtue, but most of these people are useless. Give me a week, and I could train a decent militia, but a few hours? It's going to be slim pickings. We'll have to be careful about who we choose. We need a force multiplier. Traps, mines, turrets, something like that. You should check with that gimp in the general store, see what he has. Good. Believe me, we're gonna need every advantage we can get. Yes? What's up? Like what? Hey! Howdy! You're goddamn right I will. Legion assholes don't scare me. I'm a little lean on firepower though. You got anything to spare? Now you're talking. Give me something big that blows shit up.
cloudy. busy now. Sorry. Seems that the territories are about to blow up. Yeah? There ain't gonna be no Legion attack. Mayor and Sheriff are always talking that bullshit, trying to stir everybody up. What? Holy shit, we gotta get out of here. You aren't thinking of fighting them, are you? Whoa, fucko. Who do you think you're talking to? Are you calling me chicken shit? Fine. Anybody comes through that gate is gonna get waylaid. Hell yes. Those cons got the hint. We've shown everyone that these are our new territories. Yeah? Nothing. My face is just fine. Yeah, well, curiosity killed the cocksucker. Or something like that. I'd prefer not to discuss it. I followed a bounty here not long ago, but the trail ran cold. I've been getting by working as a caravan guard, but it's not the same. I should get back on the hunt, but I just don't know. I used to pride myself on finding every mark I was after, but I lost him. Everywhere and nowhere, partner. Does it really matter? Might as well, he's long gone. A fellow by the name of Glanton used to work as a scalp hunter for the NCR. See, back when the Republic was brushing up against some nasty tribals and raiders down south, they hired Glanton to clean them out. Glanton and his gang were making so much money that pretty soon they stopped caring about whose scalp they took, be it women or children. Brass tried to put a lid on it, declared him an outlaw, but it didn't matter. Settlers loved Glanton. 
made him into a hero. If settlers or miners run into trouble with tribals, they hire Glenn. It wasn't until recently that the government got serious about him. A few months back, the NCR finally put a bounty of 10,000 caps on his head. I decided it'd be worth my while to go after him. Just my luck, he drifted south of the Mojave when I was trailing him. Rumor is that he was meeting up with some old accomplice, Judge Richter. Apparently this guy ran with Glenn years ago. You don't by chance know anything about him, do you? Wait, that was you? I heard the judge was killed by a pack of geckos. Ripped him to pieces. They're very territorial, you know? Not a bad idea, especially considering your background. Anybody who can take down Richter is qualified in my book. I do have to ask, though. You're not in bed with Caesar's Legion, are you? What can I do for you? You for real? If there actually is a Legion attack on the way, I'm getting the hell out of here. Wait, are they really coming this time? Oh god, really? All those false alarms. Nobody will make it out, but I can't fight. I've got a bum knee, a bad back. I can help in another way. I've been holding on to some ceiling turrets. I can install them if someone will cover the costs. I would have put them up already, but that tightwad sheriff refused to pay an installation fee. Ridiculous. I can put them up for 500 caps, no sweat. Okay, I'll put him up. Consider it my good deed for the year. Bye. Now what can I do for you? We're in business. Might not end up on a cross after all. Hi, how are you today? What do you need? Hey there. Need in? Things are getting stranger every day. Mm-hmm. 100 caps, darling. No bullshit. No haggling. No trading. Just the caps. Well, move along if you please. Mm-hmm. You're not one of those types, are you? Trying to lay lines on me? Thinking you'll get complimentary snatch? Won't happen. Not ever. If you want to know my story, it's pretty simple. Dad beat me. I ran off. Started working John's, and now I follow the money. You want more than that? You gotta pay the tax. Me? Ha! <laughs> Sheriff was always talking about the Legion raping and pillaging, going to defile the women if we ain't vigilant. Shit, I get defiled ten times a day. Feel like I've been fucked by a freight train half the time. Legion dick is still dick, and if they pay, I don't care. Whoa, they're gonna do what? This little snatch is a prize commodity, and I don't give out free samples to nobody. Slave? I'll rot in fucking hell before I'm somebody's lapdog. Give me a gun, motherfucker. Oh, yes.
Bye. What can I do for you? Hymns are good. Mm-hmm. Later. Our rangers are going to show everyone what happens when we're pissed off. What is it? No way. I know what's about to go down, even if the townsfolk don't believe it. I'm about to start making tracks. You should do the same. Damn it, damn it, damn it! Why didn't I just run when that prospector gave the word, huh? Had to warn the town. Do the right thing. Okay, I'm with you. I've got an old rifle, but not much else. Can you help me out? Now you're talking. Yes? Oh god. It's starting. I'll move into the mines with all the non-combatants. We'll pray for your victory!
Look, we're about to get into something we might not come back from. Even if you play every hand perfectly, sometimes you run out of luck. If I had to choose, this is as good a spot as any. Protecting a town from legionaries is like something out of a dream for me. Keep your head down out there, partner. Legionaries are bad shots, but not that bad. I'll be right with you to the end if need be. Now, let's go make those plumed fucks wish they never came to this canyon. What do you need?
Salway profligate. I come on behalf of my master, the Dread Centurion. Out of respect for your bravery, he will make no more attacks on the town. He entreats you to meet him in the canyon, where he will face you in a contest of arms, if you are strong enough. Upon delivery of this message, I am to be liberated. It hurts. So the champion approaches, hopefully one worthy of my skill. One moment. I recognize the figure with you. Yes. Yes, sweet, sweet Amator. It's you, isn't it? What a fortuitous turn of events. Is that what he goes by now? To me, he'll always be my Rufus, my red lover. So soft, so sweet. He didn't tell you about us, did he? How charming. Like Damon and Pythias. Did he tell you how he screamed when I pressed my blade against his flesh? He'll never hide his scars. Very well. Anything else before we begin? These are the finest warriors in my cohort, Vulso and Saranus. Each is strong in limb and master of the great hammer. They will crush your skull and smash your living guts into paste. Mars will see to it. At once. Another kill to my name. Hey. Come on! Come on! Taste of the flame! Had enough?
I'll be right here. Lead on. Yes. Hallelujah, hallelujah, our prayers are answered. The Lord sent you to repel the demonic hordes, and they are vanquished. We gathered in the cave, holding hands, praying for your success, and the Lord heard us. Thank you, stranger. We are forever indebted to you. Chosen by God to do it. The entire town is indebted to you. Your intrepid stand will be remembered for generations to come. Before you leave the canyon, please see me. I cannot let you depart without some type of compensation. Yes? Oh, it's... It's better than mere religion. God spoke to me when I was in that cave, with death hanging over us all. He told me to take up my true calling. That of the minister. My father always wanted me to follow in his footsteps. But I chose a, a worldly path. Once I finish my current term in office, I will... I will step down and begin work as a minister. Possibly open a church here, Lord willing. That was my old life, before I was reborn. However, I am humble, not above reproach. So I will heed your counsel. Someone finally put down that sick motor runner son of a bitch. Good riddance. Mm-hmm. I'll be here if you need me, sugar. Howdy. Okay. It 
seems that the territories are about to blow up. Never thought I'd see that fuck again. Much let's get a shot at him. What you've done for me. I don't know how to say it. I spent most of my life thinking of how I'd kill him, the ways I'd hurt him. It was over so fast, I, I just couldn't imagine finding him here. I can't believe he's dead. His corpse is still warm, right over there. But it hasn't sunk in. Morning. What's up? Like what? That mean leader shouldn't have messed with our great army. Okay, god damn it. Clanton did this, and we let him get away. I mean, the sand wolves were rough, but I wouldn't do this to animals. This, it reminds me of when the Legion came, what they did to my tribe. How did we let this happen? God damn, I'd hate to do that. This is exactly what I fought against, innocent people getting butchered. Some of the warriors would have gone down fighting, but the rest? Clanton had no right. You ever go after him again, I want to be there.
Our guys put the monorail back to work. Yes. I can tell from the look in your eyes that the aftermath was horrifying. Weigh that passing horror against the agony of a prolonged struggle. Just look around this town. Consider the lives he saved. I know we did the right thing. Those savages were less than animals. No souls. Glanton's blade was guided by God. His will be done. That's too much. This asshole wants to talk about God? After he hid in the caves while we saved the fucking town? He's just like the others. Not enough balls to stand up and fight, but he'll send Glanton to butcher women and babies. I'm doing it, and don't you say shit about the town. Look in their eyes. They hate him now. The man has to answer for what he's done. Fuck that. Fuck the rationalizing, the explanations, the goddamn lies. He, he's just like the rest of them, hiding behind his desk, sending better men and women out to die in his place. Brandon is the NCR. He's a slimy, backstabbing worm who only wants to use these people who will send a man to slaughter women and children. You really want to stand with him? Is that what I'm hearing from you? I thought you were a friend. Someone who could tell right from wrong. This knife? It's better than any goddamn judge and jury out there. Why should I stop? Tell me. Tell me! What would a good man do? It's been a long time since I've seen a good man, Courier. I just... I don't know if I can live with it. Seeing what happened here. All these people died for assholes like Brandon. But you are my friend. And I do trust you. You haven't let me down yet. I'll find a way to live with this. Letting Brandon live. I'm going to be there when you go after Glanton, though. You owe me that much. Yes. Until next time.
like that.
I think I've got some room. What's up? Like what? What's up? So it happened that the battle over Caruthers Canyon concluded with a decisive victor, the town of Silverwood. The actions of three outsiders, the Courier, Russell, and Glanton, had irrevocably changed the canyon. With their tribe decimated by Glanton, the remaining sand wolves fled Caruthers Canyon, forever traumatized by the destruction of their kin. Though few in number, the survivors swore an oath to enact vengeance on Glenn and the courier who failed to stop him. With the canyon securely in NCR hands, Silverwood quickly developed a new regional hub for mining and commerce. Settlers from across California flocked to the town, eager to share in its prosperity. Civilization had made its mark. Within a few years, most of the townsfolk had never heard of the Samuels, though a few would never forget. Eventually, word of a great duel in Utah reached town. Travelers said the courier had died, then rose again to fight the man in black. The people of Silverwood prayed for the courier, though they feared the worst. Prompted by the courier's timely intervention, Vickers eventually won his fight with substance abuse. Aided by the followers, he would find new purpose counseling homeless veterans who struggled with alcoholism and addiction to cannabis. In time, Vickers heard rumors of the courier's death but also of his resurrection, and a duel with the man in black. He would pray for the courier, and for justice. With a tunnel or threat neutralized by the courier, Hendershot soon established himself as a major arms dealer. The Levant Grass chafed at the presence of strong competition. Hendershot remained safe in Chola Mountain, and his business thrived. Several of Hendershot's clients shared stories of the courier's demise in Utah. This concerned Hendershot until he heard another rumor. A wild-eyed smuggler told him that the courier had risen and fought the man in black. Hendershot hoped, but he couldn't believe. The disillusion with their lot in the Mojave, Finley remained loyal to the Khans, if only out of respect to his late friend Chance. In his private moments, he hoped to live long enough to see the Khans revitalized, mercifully destroyed. Reveling in the defense of Silverwood, Charlie's bravery was lauded by the townspeople of Silverwood. With his newly arrived service records in hand, Charlie immediately became a respected figure in Silverwood. As the previous sheriff had abandoned his office, a collection of citizens urged Charlie to run. 
Though initially hesitant, he eventually agreed and won in a landslide victory. Hobo Charlie was no more. He was now Sheriff Charlie. Emboldened by the courier's advice, Briggs sold his shares in the saloon and headed west. His unique cinema-themed saloons quickly flourished and grew into a popular chain, bringing Briggs wealth and recognition. He would use his newfound wealth to finance dozens of films, all of them directed by Albert Breach. Unfortunately, while visiting the set of Bride of the Death Claw, Briggs would be decapitated by a vertebrate rotor in a freak accident. Mourned by hundreds in the growing film industry, he would be immortalized in a bronze statue outside Albert Breach Studios. Emboldened by her participation in the defense of Silverwood, Miss Cat used her newfound fame to expand her business. Respected for her commitment to the town's safety, any motions to prohibit prostitution were quickly dismissed as unpatriotic. Eventually, she would open her own brothel near Silverwood. Long after the mine dried up, Cat's business would keep the local economy humming. Despite his urge to leave office, Mayor Brandon heeded the courier's advice and stayed the course. Despite his newfound religiosity, Brandon had acquired a reputation for cowardice and corruption, and was promptly voted out of office. Eventually, he published a memoir of his career. Though the book was a commercial failure, it endured as required reading for students. Brandon would live out the rest of his days in obscurity, dying penniless and alone. Moved by the courier's encouragement, Sullivan moved to Reno and opened his own gym. Though he initially struggled, Sullivan eventually gained recognition for his skill as a coach and would be sponsored by the Bishop family. He would go on to train some of the most successful prize fighters in New Reno. Irrevocably altered by the crucible of battle, Parmley looked beyond himself for the first time in his life. Determined to make a difference, he enlisted with the NCR eventually earning the title of Ranger. Serving in multiple theaters with distinction, Promley had almost forgotten the courier when he heard about a duel in the mountains of Utah. Another Ranger told Parmley that the courier had died and then was resurrected only to fight the devil himself. Unsure what to believe, Parmley would say a prayer for the courier, but hesitated to hope. With the blood of the sand wolves dripping from his blade, Glanton and his gang set out for new frontiers. Travelers spoke about him in hushed tones, mentioning distant tribes scalped, whole villages destroyed. Others said he went to Utah. They spoke of an unholy alliance, then whispered another name, Marco. What began as a simple bounty job had grown into a powerful experience for Russell, one which would forever alter his identity and outlook. Having grown to trust the courier, Russell learned that the bonds he found in the Desert Rangers were not entirely unique. This new friendship, forged through shared hardships, revived a feeling he hadn't felt in a decade. Hope for the Mojave Wasteland and himself. Though Russell would remain haunted by the massacre of the Sand Wolves, he found peace with the demise of his former owner, Titus Vulcanus. Russell hoped he would be able to repay the courier somehow though he suspected it wouldn't take long. He knew that their greatest challenges were waiting in the Mojave Wasteland and in distant lands. Because war, war never changes. What's up? Like what? Okay, god damn it.
rifle and the blade are off limits. People around here complain about the fiends. They're nothing compared to the 80s. Welcome, sir or madam. Do you wish to purchase something? I am ready to process our transaction. Where to, partner?
day. Hi, how are you today? Roller suite. Casino floor. 